about what? Huh? I don't know what came over me. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Too. I, I... This is what I really hate about you. You always find excuses for every single mistake you make. Can't you at least for us one up to one? Baby, baby, that, 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 girl, that girl is a devil. I'm mm. sure she planned the whole thing. She planned it. I'm, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, she's a devil. She's a fellow man like me, like your sisters. Only God knows what you have told her before she even followed you to your house. And all of a sudden she's a devil. Right? All of a sudden she's a devil. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now you expect that I'll, you, you thought I was going to slap her or beat her or beat you. I, I was wondering, you, you should have... You, 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 why? Uh, I know, I won't. Because I have learned to stand up against my fellow woman. You are the person, you are the one I'm going to fight until you change honey, my girl. Honey, please, honey, please, please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm I, sorry. I keep sorry about my party, but she spoils everything, so it's gone. It's just honey, gone. Honey, honey, baby, 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 honey, honey, please, please now, baby. Hi. Baby, baby, come. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you ever, your entire life, touch me with your dirty, cheating, filthy fingers of yours. Don't you ever try that again. I should have just listened to my friends when they warned me that you're nothing but a poverty, rats looking for to milk. I'm not that girl. Sorry, Definitely you not that girl. You have to forgive me. Don't do this. Don't do this. See, baby, baby, it's me now. <laughs> Man, this is my baby. My baby, mama's baby, man. I got this afternoon. Oh, be serious for once now. Whose car is this? Look, I can't be this dead serious, you know what I mean? Look, I, I told you I got this car. I had to let go with the old fashioned and, and I bought this car this afternoon. What are you talking about? Bros, this car is expensive, okay? There's no way you bought this car. You're a mere student. So don't know they tell me all these things. Whose car is this now? This is my car! Is. This is my car! Nigga, look, look, listen to me. I school and I work at the same time. I hustle, of course you know that. Which kind of nonsense hustle they talk now? I know they talk all these kinds of things now. Eh? You hustle. What do you want to tell me now? You don't become a robber. I mean, you don't do all this yahoo yahoo thing. With which kind of nonsense with that? Listen, Nikki, I don't, I don't look like someone who came to Lagos to come bridges. Call us a brother, let's hop in and catch some four men. We need to pop us to Japan, you know what I mean? Man, come on, let's go, go man. Let's oh, go. Man. girlfriend. Hope the plan worked out with your Randy boyfriend. Uh -uh. 
What happened? <laughs> I found him with another girl. What? Yeah. My man had a bigger surprise for me. You know what? Um, I don't think I can go on with the entire birthday party thingy anymore. I'm just, just done with that. No, girlfriend. Don't be too quick with your decisions. We can make this party rock without him. Trust me. All I want is for you to be happy. I know. The truth is, the entire plan, everything just sucks right now. I mean, everything. <laughs> Young meeting with him, the surprise party, the, the romance, everything. It just sucks. I, 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 I don't think I can go on with it. I mean, if I knew that my entire plan would come crashing like this, I would have put so much in it. I would have just, I would have just let it go. No, girlfriend. Come. Let me show you some. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you! Oh my god! Happy birthday! Thank you, darling! Oh my god! This is for you, super happy birthday! Thank you, thank you! Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Silver. Happy birthday to you. In my book! She didn't even show remorse. And you're talking to me. Look, look. Kids who their parents are rich allow their wealth to override the sense of reasoning. And you know all that. I am not the only fucking poor guy in this school! I'm not! I know. I know so many people in this school that I'm 100% brilliant! You be poised out of this, Michael! Look, she equally can give the same attitude to, to boys who are rich in this campus. Look, Michael. Look, Michael. All I'm trying to say is that let's try as much as we can to leave this campus in peace. Yeah. Look, remember, this is our final year. Yeah, right. Our final year. Whatever. Look, all I'm trying is to save your ass. Don't fucking me your ass. My Don't do that. If it was you that someone talked down to, that Talk down to you. Would you do this? Would you let someone talk to you like that? Exactly. Oh, under the Shakespeare's love garden, eh? Alright, I'll be there. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I am. Um... I just want to be alone right now. 
Look, I know what you mean by wanting to be alone. See, you may know what you are doing to yourself right now. Listen, I just want to be here and wait here till they actually, you know, so I can make a decision on what I want to do before it comes. Who? My boyfriend. He came to apologize and beg. Only babes. I have my way with men. And I treat them exactly the way they come. Yesterday, one bumped into me and almost damaged my friend. Trust me, I dealt with him with my mouth. Do you know the idiot got angry and almost slapped me? But thank heavens he never did. Because he would have remained in jail. Right here. Who? My boyfriend. You mean he's the man you've been telling me about? Yes. Peter, what? Where are you going to? I'm really glad you came. Uh, I thought you wouldn't come. I'm so happy. Um, I'm sorry for everything. That's why I brought you here. I just, I just want to talk with you, okay? Um, and I got, I got something special for you. Your favorite wine. I'm sorry. Okay, this is my own little way of, um, of, of telling you that I'm sorry. Oh, Michael, so is this supposed to make up my birthday party that you messed up? So that you, you know me, I'm, I'm not, I'm not rich. I don't have silver or gold or any of that. But please forgive me, okay? Let's start a new beginning. I promise I will never, never hurt you again. I promise. From this new day right now, please forgive me. So, should I open it? Sure. <laughs> yeah, you come on, guys. Alright. Mm -hmm. um, that minister's doctor, what's your relationship with her? Oh, I won't wait, Trisha. Oh, she's my girl, she's my friend. Mm -hmm. Another girl's a bitch. I'm not a chick. She doesn't have language, you know that. Uh, well, that's because of this cruel between the both of you. That's why you're saying that plus she knows that you're the same man that messed me up. So, what do you expect from her? Hmm? Yeah, anyway, I have to also say that she didn't have nice things to say about you. She yeah, called you names. Plenty bad names. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to her. Side. She's my girl. I'll handle her. Yeah, you better be. Hi. I don't want to come over to your place and see her there. You know, you can't be like that. <laughs> she's a bitch. I'm sorry to say that. She, she, she's, she's my friend, so. Yeah, whatever. Drop, she's my friend. Right. So, should I? Mm-hmm. We're going to have a toast. What are we testing to? To a new beginning. <laughs> a time where we don't hurt each other. Okay? I don't hurt you, we don't hurt you. Yeah, you're the one who do all the hurting all the time. So what are you saying? I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it again. I promise. Mm. I promise. So, um, <clears throat> here's to a new beginning. But you're not going to hurt me, are you? I, you do the hurting. I do the Facebook girl. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, my my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. 
Don't tell me you've made up with him so soon. <laughs> of course I did. I mean, he came to apologize unlike the others. He sounds so cheap to me. Come on, he's man enough. What's wrong with you? You test her. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because of all the scrambles and all the stories from me, right? Listen, Chitra, please listen, listen, listen. I, I really like that guy. Please, listen. You need to just drop whatever it is, okay? And you know what? He said that you are cute. <laughs> and one more thing. Yes. Okay. He actually begged me to, so that he can follow me to the house, so that he can actually talk to you. Hmm. Trish, come on, girl. Listen, I really, really love this guy. I love this guy so much, and I really want to be happy with him. Please, come on. I love him. Come on, I love him. I said I love him. You go love him. You to go love him. Come on now. My God, I'm so sorry. My husband got this call from a client and we had to leave. I'm sorry. To be frank, I'm not happy with you. You would at least let me know about it so that both of you could eat something and have some snapshot with my baby. Like I said, I am sorry, okay? We could take a snapshot some other time. Please. Your house is my house, so. Just wanted to know your whereabouts. Thank you very much. I just got home and we are fine. Bye. Bye. Congratulations once more. This is just her third year of marriage. And she has three children already. I don't even have anything to show for my marriage. Look, my guy. Look, I'm sick and tired of all this. Love stories between you and Savior. What's up, man? Make some cash and earn some respect from these girls. Ah. Henry, I am not going to do anything like what you're thinking of. Okay? I'm happy with what I have and the little I get from my love, Sylvia. Let's calm down. Okay? Let's take straight. I there's no big deal it. Alright? All you need to do is to satisfy her and make some cash. Come on, man. What the f has come over you, Henry? What? You want me to go sleep with a woman who's old enough to be my mother and who is married because of money? <laughs> I know your fears. Look, their husbands are dead. No qualms, okay? <laughs> Listen, Harry, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be like you. I'm, I'm not gonna do what you want. I've been in this school for three and a half years, and God has seen me through. You understand that? I'm not gonna be your kind of big boy. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Guy, <laughs> you've not seen really cash. You've not really seen cash. Yeah, what Go home my big what wallet, I bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go read. I've got some papers and stuff like that. I'll see you later. Bye bye. No money. Ah, go home, make some cash, bro. <laughs> Why is that weak? 
Calm down, Mama. Mama Steve, I suggest we leave everything you want to discuss till tomorrow. My wife and I, including you yourself, have had a stressful day today. All you need to do, go to your room and have a sound sleep. No way! Tomorrow is too far! Weekend! I am running out of patience! I'm running out of patience if you don't know. Come down for what now? What do I come down for? Let the neighbors hear me. I am shouting because I need grandchildren. No, hear me, neighbors. Let them hear me. Look, your wife must leave this house today. Because I've arranged a new beautiful wife for you. That will give me grandchildren. You can't be living with a, a fellow man. Mama. It's not done. Mama, Mama, God's time is the best. God's time is the best. My wife and I, we are very much young. Eh? That what? Your own case is different. Nkenj. Raymond. Your own case is different. You are the only son that I have, oh. You are my eye class. You are everything to me. Five years of marriage is not a joke, my dear. Five years of marriage is no joke. All my mates in the village, they all have grandchildren year after year. Look at me now, I don't have grandchildren. Eh? I want the one to back, you know, grandchildren. Okay, you just look at me, look at me. I don't have a grandchild, I don't have anyone to play with. Why you go back? In case you what have I done to you that you are treating me this way? I need grandchildren in Kenji. I need it all. And then must we hear my cry, oh. Mama, God must we hear my cry, oh. Yeah, in Kenji, I need grandchildren, oh. Tell me for me that I need grandchildren, oh, Kenji. Hey! Mama. Hey! In Kenji, you are my only eye, oh. You are my only eye class, in Kenji. You don't want to give me grandchildren. Why are you doing me like this? God, oh, what have I done? Who have I offended? That does not want to forgive me. God, please now hear my prayer, my prayer. How? God, oh. but, 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 what's, what's funny about what I said? What's funny? <laughs> Sorry for, for laughing, okay? But look, how long will it take you to be an applicant in this campus? Don't forget that it is the survival of the fittest kind of government that you run here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. My certificate will speak for me. To speak for me. Guys, you know what? I'm going to leave the shores of this country immediately after our graduation. Hmm? <laughs> 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 you don't laugh. You don't laugh. Now this guy is supposed to laugh now. This is the one. Bros, bros, wait. Do you know how much? It will cost you to leave this country. Do you know how much? You are so naive, Mike. I expected you understand the fact that Hera has taught me the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, don't mind him. Time will tell, okay? <laughs> Time will tell. Okay, listen, listen, wait, wait, wait. If, if not that to that, she got more nonsense. Eh? Count me out of it, man. I, I ain't doing that shit. Just count me out. I'm not doing it. Then stop hanging around us and start spending our dough. Yeah, right. Like saying I owe you your money. Oh, come on, guy. Go, guy, come on. Now you're too harsh now. You never eat my own. Look, look, look. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay now, guy. Cool down. Look, guy, look. It took you time. Even you to join us. You know how long it took you. Huh? It took you many years to to come over. So relax, man. And guys, you might not be laughing. You know they tried now, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, no, Vex. Still laugh. <laughs> no, no, I beg. You are leave this country. Yeah. Boom, boom, give me light again, man. You wait for a seal like, like six to seven hundred. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> they are coming. Hey, Hi, Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm good. I came to your place earlier and they told me you left very early. Yes, darling. I went to the bank, you know, trying to withdraw some money. You know, I didn't want to wait till so, I had to leave early because of the lunch. Yeah, yeah so did you succeed? Of course, yes, I did. That's why I'm here. That's how I come I can make it here. 
maybe I um I want you to use this for your you know school fees to buy and some like that. For you? So I have to go because my girl is waiting on me right now. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, babe. I have to go. I don't want to keep my girl waiting. Okay. okay. I'll see you after school. Yeah, All right, honey. Love you, baby. Love you, bye. When is God's time? It's been five years and nothing to show for it. Baby, we all read the Bible. You know the story of Sarah in the Bible. What? She waited for decades. I'm not Sarah. And even if I was Sarah, Sarah doesn't have a nagging mother in law who wants to take her out of her husband's house. She doesn't have that, right? I'm not complaining. Do I have to wait for you to to complain? Dining bit. <sighs> Why have you forsaken me? Prayer they say is the master key. It opens all doors. Your womb is not an exception. Nobody questions God's ability to do things. When this your baby will come now, eh? Waiting now. We don't today here. She'll soon be here. We, we, we've been here for like 30 minutes now. You, she'll soon be here. She'll soon be here. We, 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 we're waiting there. Relax. She has never failed me. I trust her. Yeah. 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 She, she has never failed you. She has never failed you. Hey, <laughs> Bobo. You fuck off. You fuck off big time. We saw you now yesterday. We saw you kissing a married woman in public. In public. Did you see me? Of course we saw you. I was with Johnny too, okay, and some other people now. We saw you yesterday. Kissing and married. What kind of risk do you take, guy? What risk are you talking about? Ordinary kissing. Hey, guy! No kissing is ordinary. Especially when it has to do with a married woman. Look, guy, forget all that, man. Look, what, what I'm cracking here is that there's this club that is coming up this night. See, guy, now mama's food there, man. See, you, when we surely yeah. they talk about the nonsense where they do, the risk where they take. They talk about party. Which kind of nonsense party they talk? 
But you don't understand. Say some men get gone. Oh. If they catch you, if they catch you with their wife, but don't be all this is where they talk. Oh, that not buy you go just buy you. Oh. Yes, come in. Hi. Yeah, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Alright. What about Harry? Henry? Henry went to church. I don't think he's coming back soon. Anyway, when he comes back, tell him that I checked. Tell him the problem. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. bye. Don't block now. It's getting bad luck with this now. God, I have everything, everything that should make a family complete and happy. Cars, properties, company. Everything I have it, but I don't have the one thing that makes a family complete, total complete. I lack it. God, why? What have I done? Why are you making me lose out so much in everything? You lose out? You lose any business or deal you're supposed to have with somebody? I didn't lose out from any deal or any man or anything. I'm talking about you and I, us. That's what I'm talking about. What about us? Oh. So whatever that is happening in this family, it doesn't even concern you. So I'm the one carrying the burden of having a child in this house. I'm the one who's interested in having the baby, right? Wait, wait. If we leave whatever we're doing, we don't even eat, close down our company, and keep talking about the same issue, it's not going to yield anything to us. I tell you, I keep saying this to you, prayer is the key word. Prayer is the key. Please, calm down, honey. Let's wait for the girl's appointed time. People have said talking. People have, have said, talk it. They don't even respect our status anymore. They just, the status. Yeah, they just talk and talk. Honey, I mean, listen to me. Nobody that lives under the sun that doesn't have one problem or the other. It's not much that it should be a problem of childlessness or something. Honey, it could be one sickness or the other. Just calm down. Please. Please. Come. Dear. Yeah. Just calm down. Okay, let's go inside. Oh. I want to stay here and look at the stars. 
Yeah, <laughs> beautiful, right? Um. Mm. You like it? I love it. I like it. It's okay. Follow me, let's go in. Okay. Um, sweetheart, Mama sent a message eh, um, that uh, she'll be coming tomorrow morning. Oh, right. You have any problem with that? No, 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 I, I don't. You know, I'm used to her plenty wahala, so. <laughs> I'm happy you're saying that, you know. But my mother is not a trouble man. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even say that either. Oh, darling, um, I have an early appointment. Would you drive fast? It's alright. Thank you. There's no need, my dear. Hmm? I came here for a purpose. Mm. Yes. And I want you to cooperate with me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, but I think you should sit down. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. I will want you to come with me and visit a man. His name is uh, Agotulumbe. Mm. Okay. Uh, um, what is the purpose of our visit and who is he? Yeah, fine. Agotulumbe is a very, very spiritual man. He is specialized on cases like yours. He's from Momongele. Oh. And he promised to put an end to this your barren issue. I will tell your husband. I'll tell my son when he comes back. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand what? You don't understand what I'm talking about. You understand what I'm talking You better understand what I'm talking about. If you want peace, you're in this house. But that is why I came from the village. You better understand what I'm talking about. What do you mean you don't understand? Okay, let my son come back. I'm going to my room. You have to understand before my Uh, really so, are, are you going there? Yeah. Okay, I'll join you. Come here. Have you have you have you checked um, um basic one oh one on accounting? You mean Professor Ayago's course? Yeah. No, no, no. Anything? I mean that guy is mean. Oh. I hear that nobody carries over his course, especially the final year students. Nobody. So that's not the case, man. He's suitable. As in, we can we can sort his course, we can we can pay him off. Yes, of course. Yeah, but at the same time we have to study because um he, he might become born again tomorrow, you know. <laughs> Look man, if that man gets born again, then I hope it is second Jesus. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever. But we, we need to study. That thing they stress me, man. <laughs> Oh. 
Hello, Mamma Mia! <laughs> What's up? Okay, yes, Mama, come on, Mama. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's meet at your, our normal joint, man. You know I can do it, I'm capable. <laughs> Yo, Mama, I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah, Mama, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Sylvia? Trisha, where is Sylvia? And what's that supposed to mean? Don't look like Sylvia's house girl. Actually, getting along. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Uh huh? Sure. Excuse me. What? Uh, I don't know what her problem is. I'm, I'm sorry. Please just ignore her. Ignore her. I mean, she'll come to our senses pretty soon, okay? Alright, darling. I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Let's go down, can we go now? Yeah, yeah. Alright. But how's your day been though? Ah, well, my day was good. I see that you and um Trisha, you're getting along pretty well right now. I mean, from the way the both of you sat close to each other, I can tell. So yeah, on the contrary, I had to force my way into the house to sit where you saw me sitting when you came in. For real? For real. Oh well, um, I'm gonna try and talk to her and you don't worry. But the thing about Trish is she can be really, really funny. So I advise that regardless, just be very careful, okay? Why? <laughs> because the same way Trisha behaves when she hits somebody is the exact same way she behaves when she's in love with someone. So, that could be love? I pray not because I'm gonna kill somebody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? I um, brought this. Because <laughs> I want you to actually, you know, balance up, clear all your debts and everything. I want your name to come out on the first batch. I just thought we'd come out here because mm, I don't want to shine our business and all that knowing I'm giving you money and stuff. I know you're like my sunshine here. <laughs> you're my savior. I mean, without you, I don't, I don't think I would have gone through all this. I don't think I would graduate and all that. Oh, no, darling, you will graduate. Yeah, I know I will because you're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, so give me a kiss. Mm -mm. Come on. Mm -mm. We're public now. Nah. We're not doing this. You come on. Yeah, so what? Why not? Because you want me to. I don't care about that. Give okay, me, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. That's not a kiss. Babes, public people watching, come on. No, okay. that's a fact. No, I want to do this. Babes, public, I don't, I don't care about people watching. You want to see people watching? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mama. 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 Hello, Every woman in her shoes would do exactly the same thing. The same thing. The same thing? Yes. The same thing, baby. How can my mother suggest a native doctor to you? What, what, what is that for? Yes. How? Look, don't shout, okay? If you shout, you put me into more problems because she told me that. And I'm telling you, and you want to go quiet her? Huh? Please. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Enough of this nonsense. God damn it. She's your mother, she can't do anything. <laughs> so all she does to me is, is to hurt me. She's my mother because of that. You love me and I love you as well. I'm sorry. But you know. And you want us to be in peace.
Let's call my new Zach. Yeah. Sir, Mr. Moon's Richard, right? Yes. Richard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you, sir. Give it to us. I child education. Comes on the 25th. It's me, your mom. Kungu's daughter. Hey, she's the one. But me and was What is she doing in my bedroom? I brought her now so that the both of you will get acquainted to each other. She's your new wife. Good of mercy. What? What? Hey. Don't look at her looks at all. She's a very nice girl. A virgin for that matter. Are you mad? Mama, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is that I found a new wife and a love one for you. Yes, today you'll be out of that woman's spell. She's a nice girl. Hmm? No. Get in it! Enjoy yourself! It's your husband! Get in it and sit in front! It's your husband, my friend. Enjoy yourself. Mama, 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 mm -hmm. listen. If you don't take this girl out of this room this minute, I will leave this house and I will never come back again. You are going nowhere. I am your mother. I fed you with this breast and I know what is good for you. Mama, you are mean. This is sheer wickedness. I don't care whatever you call it, Okenji. Yes. All I need is a crack child, period. If you like to say I am wicked, just as you just said now, I don't think I care. Yes. Okay. No, I just... Come on, move your place! Move your place! Move your place! Don't you think it's a fan of someone? Don't do that nonsense. What? Ma don't worry, Mama. I... Don't worry. Just leave us alone. Eh? Yeah. No way! I am going to watch this thing live and direct. But Mama, you can't stand here and watch me make love to my supposed wife. It's not possible. Eh? Okay. Remove up to your pants. My wife! Remove your pants! Don't try that nonsense here. Eh? Are you mad? Hey, just allow us to do it ourselves, no problem. Okay. Yeah, ma. You will remove it to your pants. Mama, I can't remove my pants here. I can't. Okay, you can't, eh? Alright. I can't remove my pants here. Okay, don't worry. Mama, why are you locking the door now? Mama, don't just let me use bad words at you. I don't care. Mama? All I care is a grandchild. A son to be precise. That's all I want in Kenji. 
Hein? Because si nous n'avons pas mis à Bilko. Um, actually, we we're gonna plan the entire party before we actually go for your service, right, mm -hmm. Trish? Right? Well, so good. Um. Oh, shit, man! You scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm in for a serious mess. I don't understand. Mike. Mama is here again for another night party. She's been calling me all day, but I ignored her calls. So, what's the big deal? I mean, it's normal, isn't it? No, no see, I failed Professor Ife's course just because of that woman. My God. Look, I have to stand in for another year because Prof has refused to accept money. Could you get it? No, uh, that woman seems to be a chronic uh, party crawler, so what are you going to do about it? Splendid. I mean, I have wow. a lot of new experiences. <laughs> you know? So, um, where's uh, where's Sylvia? Um, she's not around. No. Um, where did she go? Come on, Mike. I've waited for this for so long. Um, okay, jacket for your girlfriend comes back. I'm just gonna leave my things here. I wanna go out to town, take a look around. 
come right back. Okay. Okay. Alright, don't be in a Not even once. Oh, come on, baby, it's a long story. Listen, as soon as I left here, I got robbed. Armed robbers. I lost my phone, everything. I lost all the numbers I had, including yours. I mean, you know me, I'm not good at memorizing numbers. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry did you <laughs> I didn't manage to cross you. Well, 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 let's say um, God did his thing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you? Um, you, didn't, you didn't serve? Well, um... <clears throat> My name, my name never came came out. I couldn't serve, but the good thing is there's a lecturer who's um, trying to help me, and he promises that the next batch that my name come out. Well, that's good. At least you're gonna get a certificate, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But the good thing is that at least you're back, and I'm happy you're back. And then you know you have a place to stay, so you can actually you know find a job and all that. Are you serious? Are you mm -hmm. Telling me you've got uh, an apartment? No, why? Well, you said I've got a place to stay. Okay, that's your friend. He's still in town. He's been everywhere cruising. Which friend of mine is that? Okay. Henry, of course. I mean, he's still around. He too didn't make it to service. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good, dude. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, you have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, I miss yeah. my man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad that you Informer, where is he? Where is my son? Remote controller. Where have you remote my son? Where have you remote him? Mama, it's been ages since he came here. At least your presence should bring happiness and joy to us. What kind of joy? No, tell me where, where, where is the happiness? If I like, I sleep one year, two years. What, what, what joy? Eh? I am back with full force. Hmm? And I'm back for the worst. Where is your husband? Where is my son? Call him, I want to see him. He has an executive meeting in the office. He'll be back by 4 p.m. Executive meeting, my foot. I want to see my son and ask him if he is impotent. Mama. Yes, because I went for a beautiful girl for my son. And they made love together. Right from my village. Yes. What? Yes. And the girl is unable to conceive. So I want to ask him what is wrong. That's why I want to see my son. You what? Yes. Me and him, we had an agreement. Didn't we? And I waited for you, but you didn't show up. So I had to go and arrange a beautiful girl. A virgin for that matter. But she's unable to conceive. That is why I am here. I want to know what is wrong with my son. That is why I am here.
Can we watch the green there? You scared me. What are you doing here living your comfortable matrimonial bed? You wrote me up just to ask me that. I want to know why a married woman like you would prefer the couch to her bed. Well, the last time I checked, you were married to two women. You obviously cannot sleep in the same bed at the same time. What? What rubbish are you talking about? Please, just leave me alone, please. Please, I'm just trying to keep my cool. I've had enough, please. I won't let you be until you tell me what is going on. And what did they even tell you that you could not even ask me about? Well, if telling you we just allow you to let me be tonight, let me tell you. Your mother just broke the news to me about your supposed wife that she brought to you from the village. You were supposed to make her pregnant. But she didn't get pregnant. So do you want to explain that to me or just let me go back to sleep? Darling, <clears throat> it is a lie. Actually, she brought a particular village girl. But I fooled her. I mean my mother. Sweetheart, I can't be stupid. I can't. I'm sorry. I want you to forgive me. It won't repeat itself again. Please. Believe you. Believe you. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go back to bed. Thank you very much, my dad and husband. This is very comfortable for me to sleep in. I'm sleeping. If you're gonna sleep here, that means I'm gonna sleep here with you. You can take the floor. Raymond, eh? having heaven and earth without a child to inherit them is totally useless. Useless! All you care is walk, 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 walk. Mama, Mama, please. If you have any means of giving us a child or making my wife pregnant, we will welcome you so that we have peace in this house. I thought you've given up on us only for you to resurface again. Yes, I have to resurface. Because the girl you slept with the other day, eh? She's not pregnant. That is why I am here. Because I doubt your potency. <laughs> Mama, I fooled you. I never did anything with that girl. And over my living body will I accept such offer. Hey! You mean that all that happened that day were all fake? that you are under a spell. I said it. Yes. Hey. Chimo. 
Hey, I am finished. Oh, snake, I am finished. Hey, this girl has killed my soul for me. Hey. Mama, 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 hey. mama, mama, please, please. This is this is morning. I'm not in for all these things. Please, I'm going to the office. Ah, no, nobody is going nowhere in this house. Until we solve this problem. Even the is going nowhere. Until this problem is solved. Which problem? Okay. Eh? Mama, I don't have a problem. Eh? Which problem? It's you that is causing all this problem. Me? Yes. Me? Okay. Mama, please. Please. I don't want trouble. Please. Allow me to go to the office. I have a lot to do. You're going nowhere. No work. Nobody is going anywhere. Mama. Mama, I don't want to cause trouble here. Mm -hmm. Mama, I don't want to cause trouble here. Cause now? Who is asking for grandchildren? Is it too much for me to ask? For five years in country? Okay, okay. I built this house. I know the way in and the way out. You can stay there, no problem. Go now! Go to the come back and meet me in this house! Hark! What is it? Just we'll revisit the hospital again to know our fertility status. Take that's necessary. Yeah. It's more than necessary. We should even know before now to see how capable we are to parent a child. We blame God so much, right? Yeah. My guy, stop deceiving yourself. You posted application to virtually all the companies and firms that I know, including banks. Yet nothing to show for it. None of them have called you for an interview, let alone giving you a, a, a position. Bros, perseverance, please. Okay? Winners never quit. I'll keep knocking on that door till it opens. When will this door open? When God wants it to open, it will do it to open. Mike, Mike. I have a surprise for you. Look, this woman is beautiful. And she's kind too. <laughs> See, don't worry, her husband is dead. So she needs some retouch. <laughs> Make some money, man, and live up to your dreams, bro. Look, you're not getting any younger. Silver will soon start getting worried over our marriage. You know that. I know. See, I can do anything with any woman. It's not a problem for me. But when it comes to sugar moments, no. I can't do it It's not in my blood. Anyway, what else do I say? Keep sampling file all over town and wasting and while away your time. I've tried my best. After all, I've promised that what you eat will never lack. Man, I appreciate that one. I didn't just try for me. Well, well. Hmm? What do you worry yourself? I'm the crazy idea they talk. What do you worry? I will relax. I will soon get a job. You did there now. I will get a job. Hope so. Yeah, hope so. Don't worry.
so that this, this whole thing is, is, is taking time. I'm getting tired of searching. I'm, I'm, I'm really... Mike, come on, please. I don't say that. It's like, you, you just have to be in mind about this. And strike on. You said, all these things, nobody gets it on the part of gold, no one. Nobody gets it easy. But I believe in my heart that someday that the door will open. Okay? Mike Okoro. Yes, sir. Your elementary certificate says that you are the second best pupil of the year. Yes, sir. Why weren't you the first other than the second? No, <laughs> sir, I, I wouldn't know about that, but I guess the girl that took it um, got it by Mary, sir. So, decided to give it up for a woman? Like I said, she got it by Mary, sir. Mm -hmm. And then um, you're also the the best student in your secondary school. Yes, sir. That's good. You did your parents proud by being the best economic student of the year. You must, you must, you must be given an award for that. Well, actually, I got an award, sir. Um, as to my parents, uh, but I guess they'll be proud wherever they are. Are they late? I didn't go to know them, sir. Quite a pity. Quite a pity. It's okay, Mr. Michael. Um, your credentials are eye-catching. But um, the only problem here is that you don't have working experience. That's just the problem. Um, for now, we don't have anything. But if there is anything, I will let you know. Thank you very much, sir. So I, I should. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll, I'll move forward to the other side. I'm cutting. Very well of the young man. Yeah. Beautiful CV from a handsome young man. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is exactly the kind of person that we need. After the absence of Ben in the company, it's been wobbling. So I think that this, this guy can actually do a good job for us. I'm making a point, but I'll have one problem with him. Work experience. Mm. I think I see that here too. He has no experience whatsoever. Well, we'll give him a try out. You know, Ben, when Ben came in, he has no work experience. And he did well for the company. Well, what do you think? Who am I to say anything? I mean, you are the champion for giving youth opportunities, I mean, job opportunities, so it's alright. Um, <laughs> it's alright, they are the leaders of tomorrow. I know. We have a lovely Come here. I think she's doing okay. Okay. I really like this. You like it? It's alright. Interesting. Actually, I've heard about this company before now. 
<clears throat> That's nice to hear, meaning that our products and adverts pay off. Yes, they do so because it's hard to see anybody in this part of the world who doesn't know about your company. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. Um, anyway, Mr. Koro, I have a good news for you. Your application is granted and you're starting up tomorrow precisely. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I promise I will not let you or the company down. I promise, <laughs> sir. Well, that is what every other person would say. Um, anyway, my wife is the MD of this company and she will take you to your office. Um, you'll be working as the marketing manager of this company. Everything pertaining your salary, allowance, accommodation um, will be made known to you by her. Hmm? Um, Kevin, come to my office. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Yeah, um, Mr. Corey, this is uh, Kelvin. Kelvin is my personal assistant. And Kelvin, this is Mr. Coro. He is the new marketing manager of this company. You're welcome, Mr. Mike. Thank you. Thank you. My, my pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. I'll take him to Madam's office. Thank you very much. Once again, I, I will not let you down, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank it's you okay. once again, sir. It's okay. Assuring you that Mama will not be a disturbance to you any longer. <laughs> Mama is no longer my problem. I've been vindicted by the fertility test we ever took. But you know that we cannot, we cannot be childless forever. Um, you believe we can't have children anymore? It, it takes two fertile people to produce. You believe the doctor? He's the best. He's the best and you know that. You know what? I I have to seek for another professional doctor before I will now rest my case. Whatever you're doing, just do it fast. Because this is really killing me. Emotionally, physically. I can't even concentrate on my job anymore. All I think about is my children. It's children. I just think about so much. I, 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 know, I know how you feel. All I need from you is just a little more patience with me. Please. <sighs>
Mr. Mike. Okoro. Yes, sir. Your elementary certificate says that you are the second best pupil of the year. Yes, sir. Why weren't you the first other than the second? No, <laughs> sir, I, I wouldn't know about that, but I guess the girl that took it um, got it by Mary, sir. So, decided to give it up for a woman? Like I said, she got it by Mary, sir. Mm -hmm. And then um, you're also the, the best student in your secondary school? Yes, sir. That's good. You did your parents proud by being the best economic student of the year. You must, you must, you must be given an award for that. Well, actually, I got an award, sir. Um, as to my parents, uh, but I guess they'll be proud wherever they are. Are they late? I, I didn't go to know them, sir. Quite a pity. Quite a pity. It's okay, Mr. Michael. Um, your credentials are eye-catching. But um, the only problem here is that you don't have working experience. That's just the problem. Um, for now, we don't have anything. But if there is anything, I will let you know. Thank you very much, sir. So I, I should. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll, I'll move forward to the other side. I'm calling. Very well of the young man. Yeah. Beautiful CV from a handsome young man. Yeah. I think this is exactly the kind of person that we need. Okay. I mean, after the absence of Ben and the company has been wobbling. So I think that this this guy can actually do a good job for us. I'm making a point, but I'll have one problem with him. Work experience. Yeah. I think I see that here too. He has no experience whatsoever. What? We'll give him a try out. You know, Ben, when Ben came in, he has no work experience. And he did well for the company. Well, what do you think? Who am I to say anything? I mean, you are the champion for giving youth opportunities I and mean, job opportunities. So, it's alright. Um, it's alright. Okay. <laughs> right. They are the leaders of tomorrow. I know. You have a lovely one. Come here. I think she's doing okay. Okay. I really like this. You like it? Sorry. Interesting. Actually, sir, I've heard about this company before now. Mm, that's nice to hear. Meaning that our products and adverts pay off. Yes, they do so because it's hard to see anybody in this part of the world who doesn't know about your company. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. Um, anyway, Mr. Koro, I have a good news for you. Your application is granted, and you're starting up tomorrow, precisely. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I, I promise I will not let you or the company down. I, I promise, <laughs> sir. Well, that is what every other person would say. Um, anyway, my wife is the MD of this company, and she will take you to your office. Um, you'll be working as the marketing manager of this company. Everything pertaining your salary, allowance, accommodation um, will be made known to you by her. Hmm? Um, Kevin, come to my office. Okay. Yeah, um, Mr. Corey, this is uh, Kelvin. Kelvin is my personal assistant. And Kevin, this is Mr. Corey. He is a new 
marketing manager of this company. You're welcome, Mr. Mike. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mike. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. I'll take him to Madam's office. Okay. Thank you very much. Once again, I, I will not let you down, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you once again, sir. Addicted by the fertility test where we took. But you know that we cannot, we cannot be childless forever. Um, you believe we can't have children anymore? It, it takes two fertile people to produce. You believe the doctor? He's the best. He's the best, and you know that. Yeah, you know what? I I have to seek for another professional doctor before I will now rest my case. Whatever you're doing, just do it fast. Because this is really killing me. <laughs> Emotionally, physically. I can't even concentrate on my job anymore. All I think about is the children. Just children. I just think about someone. I, 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 know, I know how you feel. All I need from you is just a little more patience with me. Please. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I can't. just hold it there. Hold it there. You witch. Yes. You are a witch. You have eaten all your children and made my son a vain liberal. Am I that why you came here to insult me? Insult you? Who are you? Just keep your mouth shut. Don't you know I pay these people to work for me, Mama? You can't come into a working area and insult me like hey, this. Hey. Must everybody know our problem? Stop mama? acting. Stop acting. Act up. Yes. You are a witch. You just have to confess. What is this? Oh, Jesus. What do you mean by blood of Jesus? Start confessing. I want to rule the circuit that you must confess. Thank God forbid. Now, please, why are you doing this? Tell you what? This is an office area. You can embarrass me like this here. My husband works here. I work here. We still work for us. Just quiet. Confess. That's what I meant. Look, Mama, I would not take this from you. I would not take it at all. Just leave this place immediately. Leave where? I will have the security show you. Who's the security one? Confess, my friend. When you get home, you must confess. I'm going home, eh? You come and meet me at home. Nonsense. I'm talking, she's talking. I'm talking, she's talking. See, Mama. 
treating my wife bad is as good as treating me bad. She's my wife for God's sake. My son, I don't have any bad intention for you. I really wish both of you well. Then st stop treating her the way you're doing. Eh? She's innocent. She's innocent, Mama. Mama, I, I can't even believe that you've, you've gone healthish over eh? this. No, 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 no. Who is innocent? I'm asking you who is innocent? She can't be. Then what is delaying her from getting pregnant? For five years in Kenji. Mama, she's not God that gives children. She is not. Eh. Okay, you are my son. I am your mother. I carried you here. Hmm? Nobody waits for God to throw children from heaven. You, you have to con conceive first. Nobody waits for that. Mama, do you know why I'm saying all this? Mm -hmm. Because my wife, she's threatening to leave this house because of you. <laughs> Mama, please. Please, I beg you with God. Let her be. Eh? Thank God. Thank God that God is answering my, my, my long side prayers. Yes. If she wants to leave, let her leave. Let her leave. Okay, Mj, let her leave. Yes. So that the maker, <laughs> maker, is available. She's available to come and give you children. Because I need those grandchildren. Neka. Mm. She's available. Yes. What can you ask Eh. All I want is grandchildren. If she like, let she let her be like this. But I thank God that she's okay. Asa mapa. How old? Mm. <laughs> there will be no peace in this house. No peace in this house. Listen for me. Yes, my dear. Um, come and sit now. It's okay, Mama. I can stand all night. I was still quarreling. I never quarreled with you. If you insist. Please, my dear. I want you to find it. I may find this place in your heart to forgive me. I know I've offended you in so many ways. Please forgive me. Well, I, I don't hold any grudge against you. Thank you. My son said you were packing. So I decided to make peace with you. You know I am a strong woman of God. I don't want us to part. In peace, so I want us to part in peace. Be in peace, please, my dear. Leave. So where? And who do I entrust my home to? Mama? I am not going anywhere. My son said he is tired of the marriage. And uh, I want to be confirmed it. And he also said that you'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Do you think that he's telling me the truth? Uh, he's the wise one. I go to room B. He gets all his information direct from the courts. And then, uh, he can't be collecting huge amount of money from me without being reliable. Never. Mama, I think that you're actually wasting my money and my husband's money in vain. Your hour to remember whatever you call him is a fraudster because this is my home and I'm not going anywhere. I built this home with my husband. I'm not going anywhere. Mama. Please, my dear daughter, please, I want to say goodbye. Is it too much for me to ask? I
maybe you can get, get someone who was standing and get it back. Huh? I would do no such thing. I would rather remain childless for the rest of my life. Yes, sir. Um, these documents were supposed to be signed by your wife, sir, but she hasn't been to our office for some days now, and I, I don't know what to do about it. She has been busy with some family issues. Um, I will do it myself. Can I have it? Sir, are you are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I'm okay. I'm right. I'm okay. Please, I'm begging you with God. Please. Leave me alone, please. Please, honey, God, please. Please, sweetheart, please. Just leave me alone. Let me go. Please, just a child. That's what I'm asking for. I want the joy of a mother. I want to carry a pregnancy. I, I want to give birth to me. I understand. Honey, please. Honey, please. What she sent for me, okay? Who is she? The girlfriend? My madam. Bro, you see they do that thing upon all the money where you get now? Where, where do you think I get my money from? I work for it and I don't joke. It's my job and I don't joke for it. No, Allah. Good luck. On your endeavors. That's my guy. Yeah, whatever. I'll sort you. There goes. The guy, I will sort There you. goes, now. Nah. Waiting. Um, I thought you sent for me. What do you have in the car over there? No, th that's Mike. You can come and see him yourself. Listen, Henry, I have warned you. I don't want to ever see you with a woman or girl again. Ah, come on, but you know, Mama, I've been keeping to it now. You Would you that? shut up? You think I'm blind? I don't have eyes or something. By the way, who was the girl I saw you with in the boutique, 23 Road Extension? Uh, that, that, that was my, my cousin, not my girlfriend. I have warned you, Henry. I don't want to see you with any other woman, your mother or sister. 
I don't care, you stupid boy. You suddenly have forgotten where I picked you up from the gutters and dusted you. Made you who you are from a, from a nobody to a somebody. I'm sorry, ma'am. You better be. Anyway, we'll be going to a party tonight. I want to see you. Be on time. Stupid. Man, I'll never get myself into this kind of mess. What, what happened, man? Get into the car. Get into the car. You never slap him back. This is unspeakable. I, I, I can't do this. I'm sorry, you can't. I, I can't. Mike, you're the only person I've ever discussed this with. And you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Please, don't say no. Because if you do, that will be the end of the matter. Sir, my, my future is at stake here. How would this look in the sight of God? I've always lived a transparent life and this is going to damage it, sir. Your future is secured. No way. So God will not count it as a sin to you because I'm giving you permission to do so. See, there is no passion or emotion attached to it. You will grow to build your family. So I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, I can't do this. I can't. I'm sorry. Thanks for the drinks and, and, and the hospitality. But I, I can't do this. I, I really have to. I'm sorry, sir. I, I really have to.
Kenji, why is everywhere so quiet like this? Mama, come and make yourself comfortable. Hey, but Mama, Mama, I bought you a phone. Eh? Before you come to my house, you call now. Eh? That is not the answer to my question. This place is too quiet for my liking. Eh? Um, my wife went out. My dear, has she left as I said? No, no, Mama. She's very much around. Eh? See, Mama, let me tell you. You need to settle things with her now. The only settlement I have with her is for her to leave so that Neka can possess her possession. No! She goes nowhere, Mama. She's my wife. My son! Are you comfortable with the, the way you are living and sharing the same bed with your fellow man? Are you? Mama, Mama. If a man is a woman, not a man. Eh, yes. Then let her prove me wrong and give me a grandchild. That is just what settles the case. Mama, I think I really have to put a stop to all this. What? My wife and I are traveling tomorrow morning, so we have to go back to the village. Okay, there's no problem. Let me start your Yes. Mama, oh, oh. My <coughs> Hmm. Otoka, it's a very good wife. Oh, oh, the wine now, Giga, me, a good thing, me, my villa. Come when I miss her. This kind of wine is good for me in the village. And then, uh, what is the name? Um, pure African rose. Hmm. Otoka, no. But I need. your boss. Mm. I've been thinking about, you know, quitting and getting another job because this woman keeps giving me extra jobs, you know? Oh. Well, listen, <laughs> babes, I don't think you should allow that way down at all. I don't think so. The good thing is, at least she's not asking me to either do with it or with the company. She's not. I really think you should try and um, sit her down, talk to her about it. You know, just let her know how you feel. Mm. And see how it goes. Nothing good comes easy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that, baby. Yeah. You're drinking. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Would you like something to drink? Mm -hmm. Yes. The usual, right? Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want something to drink, really. Okay, um, I know you're you that. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me go get it. Thanks, honey. Bye. Right. Um, with all due respect, uh, could you excuse us? Why? For what? She's my wife. You're a man, I'm a man. So what are you hiding? Um. Use this. For what, sir? He's asking me for what? Use it, use it, use it. And tie your face. You can find your way in. Sir, I'm sorry, with all due respect, if you don't want me to do this, just tell me. Because I, I can't do what you're asking me. I have to see what I'm doing. Eh? You have to see what you're doing. I'm not going anywhere. I have to. Okay, no problem. Go ahead, but me, I'm not leaving this place. Okay. 
Sir, you're going to be here? Yes. Eh? Uh -huh. No touching, no kissing. Fine. Go in. Why are you removing your clothes? You don't need to remove your clothes. Just unzip your trouser. And then... Uh, Of this unthinkable idea. Another man or my wife. God, in my own matrimonial bed. <laughs> she has been the brain behind my Sussex. And I love her so much. I, I just don't want to lose her. I, I don't want to lose my wife. God. God. has confirmed you two months pregnant and I, I, I need to reshape some things. Things like what? We need to settle Mike. We need to dismiss Mike from the company and pay him off. Darling, why would you want to do something like that? See honey, the baby in your womb belongs to him. As long as he lives, he always have this emotional attachment towards the baby. We paid him for his secrecy, okay? He's a human being. He can never tell anything can happen. If he feels betrayed and blackmail us tomorrow, what happens? See, so, yeah, I'll make him serious. I just don't want this to be. I don't want to be a waste. Guess who I saw coming out from the fast food with a woman? Well, you just see, I'm not good at guessing. You just say it, I'm tired. Well, your fiance, Michael. Michael? Yes, your Mike. Please, don't mention my name. Just claim you saw them yourself or something. Please. I can't take this nonsense. I can't take this rubbish from Michael anymore. I just cannot take all this rubbish from him anymore. Sylvia! Sylvia!
My boss. Your boss, my foot, Michael. Your boss, my foot. I know that you're dating that woman. I can feel it, Jesus. God, what I saw out there was not a relationship between a boss and a male employee. That's not what I saw. So yeah, stop raising dust, okay? She's my boss. There's nothing between the two of us, okay? She's just my boss. I'm raising dust. I'm raising dust, right? We shall see which raising dust. We shall see if it's you or I who's raising dust. We shall see, Michael. Listen, Sylvia, Just Sylvia, stop it. Sylvia, stop Sylvia it. Don't, don't. Sylvia! Are you uh, Mr. Raymond, the former husband? Yes. Uh, any problem? Okay. Um, please, I want you to tell your wife to leave my fiancé alone. That he works for you doesn't make him a sex slave. No. I mean, I know that his work ends in the office, so I do not understand why my man and your wife will be seen at different fast food joints and all the hotels around this town. I do not get it. The only reason why I am handling it this way is because of you, your family, and your reputation. Wait, madam, you can't be too sure. My wife is a reputable woman. <laughs> uh huh. Go ask your wife who she was with yesterday when she was living in the fast food joint. Ask your wife. Wait. wait. allow you become a kept woman just because of what took place here a month ago. Look, everything I'm doing is just to make him comfortable so we can achieve our purpose. No. His contract expired the day the doctor confirmed you pregnant. And don't forget the description of his job was to get you pregnant. Which has been accomplished. What did they tell you? Nobody told me anything. I have eyes. That boy is taking advantage of the opportunity. And I don't want this to repeat itself again. Um, Mike. Has she told you that she's pregnant? No, sir. She didn't. I, I asked her, but, but she, she, she didn't say anything. So. She's too much pregnant now. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. And that is why I called you. You see, Mike, we're all human beings. Yeah. And we have feelings. Yes, I discussed with my wife to give you some cash so they can use it to start up something for yourself. You get me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. And then, um, your duties in the company will be relieved of you. You can travel if you want. 
whatever you want to do, fine, no problem. That's the first subjection. The second is to you as in to see if you can get married. Go out there, hook up with somebody and, and get married. Have your family and become more responsible. I don't know if I'm making sense. You're making sense. You're making sense, but um, can I can I um um uh, go home and you know, sleep over it so I can make an informed decision about it, sir? It's all right. It's okay. No problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's all right. this I hear you having affairs with my wife. Sir, I did no such thing. I did no such... After what you've done for me, why, why, would, I, why would I be that wicked, sir? We had an understanding that all this is supposed to be a secret. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And any step you make with her leaves a spot. I heard some time ago that you've been hanging around the fast food joint restaurant with her. I still want you to get in. That woman remains my wife. She's a married woman. And I know you try as much as possible to be careful about your future. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. Yes sir, you're making sense but I swear to God I have never even thought about... Sir! I'm sorry about the inconvenience this might have caused you, but I swear to God, I have never thought about doing something like that. From our last discussion, I still need an answer. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I've come to a decision, sir, but but this is not the right time to, to, to tell you because I, I want you in a better frame of mind when, when, when I'm going to tell you. Right now, I have I have paperwork to do in my office and, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll come back later, sir. I promise when, when, when I'm... When, when I'm when, in the car, I'll come down, sir. I promise. conclusion to it before you start running your mouth to him on all the plans that we have. Is there anything wrong with me telling him about it? Oh yes, there's everything wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it. You're giving that boy so much room for him to blackmail us tomorrow. No matter the amount of money that you give to him today, you'll keep coming back and back and back. And when we don't have the money to pay for his coming back anymore, it turns to blackmail. Or maybe it just turns to a legal possession of my children and kids. 
He will do no such thing. <laughs> See, huh? I've tested him in and out. That guy values his future lot. I still maintain my stand that no payments be made to him until every legal document be signed. It will not hold any water as long as there is no legal backup. Oh, fine. At least nothing be paid to him until we decide on what we want to do as a couple. They go. My dad sent me an errand. Uh, yeah. My sister, I thank God for Madame's life. Oh. For so many years in marriage, she's finally pregnant. Oga would be so very happy that if somebody is there to take care of his business when it is no more. Do you mean to inherit the company, right? Mm -hmm. But, Tio, have you noticed something about Madame for some time now? She seems to be kind of. Sad, more sad. Maybe she's not happy about pregnancy. What are you saying? She has thought of how long she'll be away from the office. You know she can't give away the company for any reason in the whole world. Sorry, I have an errand to catch. We we'll come back home. You can't be serious, Mike. How can you be telling me you want to resign? When you occupy the vital position in the company. I'm not even now that I'm trying to use your influence and get access into the company. Think of it, something happened. The company is seriously losing money, man. The MD told me that he wants to cut my paycheck by 8%. I'm not going to stand for that, man. I'm not. That's unfair. To be honest, that's what we we'll be doing at home. You want to join Harry into Sugar Mommy business? That's not my portion. <laughs> that, that, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, bro. See, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back inside and have fun. Drink, eat, whatever we want. Tomorrow, we worry about our problems. Alright? It's okay. Let's go back inside. A brother. So, Mama, let's just deal with Precious first. Mm. She just done one year, okay? Mm. Uh, subsequently, they will come. <laughs> my dear, I can't wait to carry my grandson with my hands. Mm. I can't wait. I'm going to carry this one first. Do not tell me a break. Mama, please go and play with your grandchild. Okay, if you say so, you come and I want to rest.
darling. Darling. I'm sorry. Please wake up. back into that ugly situation. Do you know the emotional trauma that I went through? Seeing another man making love with my wife? Eh? I would have I would have died if not for God. So please, please, don't you ever say that again. That guy is happily married. How are we going to convince him? How, how do you know? He told me. Hmm. Do you know where he stays? Yeah, yeah, he gave me his address, but I've not been there. Convincing him would not be a problem. He won't. Do you... Do you have anybody? Baby. My body is not a public toilet. I'm doing this because of us. I can't let two men sleep with me aside to you. One is enough. Besides, I want to keep this a secret. We cannot involve it. Very perfect. No, we should. 
Okay, um, so then I was thinking, now that we're married, you know, perfect game, this is beautiful. You're learning, you're learning, that's good, that's good. So now, now that we're married, baby, I was thinking, um, maybe we should move over to the States, you know? And I know your parents are going to be against that, but, you know, you could convince them. Mm -hmm. Right. That's cool. Babes, I hope you're not trying to use this to get me out of sight so you can continue messing with no, all no, these no, men like you must Never. Are you never, sure? Never. I can do that. You know that. But I, see, um, I never told you this. What? I, I, I want to, you know, quit my job and come over to the States and be with you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. At least you'll be around to watch our baby grow. What? What are you saying? You're, you're, you're pregnant? For real? <laughs> Baby, you didn't tell me that! Come on! Why didn't you tell me? Come on, come on, my baby. Mm, mm. That's the best news. I the best news I ever had. Mm. So, this is going to be the last time because my wife had a bad dream about this. In her dream, I married a second wife. Somewhere along the line, they started fighting. And when I tried to intervene, the second wife hit me with a stick and I died on the spot. Got to be that dream. I don't see how that your dream relates to what is happening within us. You did it once. But all I can tell you is that let your conscience judge your actions. Just, just tell us when you'll be ready. I know, I know there's a time factor involved here. There, there, there's a number of days I'm supposed to do this, but I just I just don't know about this. Madam, I promise not to tell anyone. I swear. It's okay. I really don't know what came over me. I understand, Ma. I actually wanted to give you a letter from Mama. Mama? Yes. Is she around? No, somebody gave it to me. Okay. I'll take it from you tomorrow. You can go. All right, Ma. She's innocent of what you're accusing her of. She said that the man wanted to rape her. And I believe her. <laughs> so you want me to believe that? Hmm? When I saw them relaxed, kissing each other. It's an abomination. The man came with a gun. We have to give thanks to God Almighty that nothing happened to her. Eh? It, would, it would have been a difficult situation now. <laughs> I can't believe it. What I saw with my two kuru kuru eyes like this. Eh? You now frame, frame it up to be a rape. Nkenji! Hey! 
are doing this in the sitting room. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Everything just happened. I, I don't know. This contract is hereby terminated. Because I don't want this to repeat itself again. But if my mother disturbs us again, we will leave this place for her. Anything you say, anything you say is for the day we can do that though. We can do anything. <laughs> Contact from your phone should have been the last thing you have done. Who is speaking? This is Mike Okoro. I thought you were supposed to have left the country by now. Yeah, but something happened. I lost all the money. What? It's a long story. But to cut it short, I was duped. How? Oh my god, no, my don't tell me this is ha this is not happening, right? So, so what, what's going to happen? What, what's going to happen? I need money so I can travel out of the country as you guys what? want. <laughs> Look, we just gave you five million naira. Where do you want us to get money from again? We don't have this money stacked up somewhere. We work for it. I don't care what is wrong with the company. All I care for is the money. This time it's seven million because my wife and I will be taking care of ourselves before we finally settle down. No, no, now you're being so...
choke. Fuck. I've never known you to be an ingrate. I'm not. If you're not, then stay the hell away from me, my family, and this neighborhood. No. Seven millionaire. It's nothing compared to what I did for you and your husband. So don't, don't, don't push me to the wall. Promises can be broken. After all, we didn't have a confidence, did we? You guys owe me. You owe me big time. Because you made me jobless after pressurizing me to leave your company. And don't forget, I still have deep feelings for my home away from home, daughter. And no one has to tell me that you're pregnant again. We owe you nothing, My wife and I appreciate what you did for us. You were paid two million naira to get that job done. Before we asked you to leave the company, we gave you three million naira. Five million naira was paid into your account when we called you back. That money is supposed to use to travel with your family out of the country. Mike, I think 10 million naira is enough money to cover the secret. What do you want from us? 7 million. 7 million naira, and you'll never see my ugly face ever. Seven million naira. within 30 minutes. But you see, I'll be back. Within 14 days, I'll be back. And when I get back, the police won't be able to help me. I promise you that. See me again. Oh, please tell me what do you want? Food? Drink? Are you joking with me? Do I look like I am joking? I need my money. That's what I want. I'm so disappointed at your level of greed. 
It just isn't the advantage of our situation to rip us off. I know. No matter the amount of money given to you, you will suffer. You will come back again. What's this? What's going on here? This is the moment. This is the moment of truth. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. You watch me do it. Mama. Eh? Uncle Ben. Hmm? I am... I am Stara. I can't be pregnant woman. You remember this man? You saw him kissing my wife. He was paid to get my wife pregnant. Oh! <laughs> Mama, you cost all this. this because of the pressure you've given me and my wife you caused all this mess you caused all this mess Mike I said I'm gonna put the end watch me do it Sweetheart, go up and get precious. I'm giving you back your daughter. I don't want her anymore. Are, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am sure. And you? You want me to take your baby? Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm not finished yet. I tried. I, I tried to get more money from you, but um, I guess that's not gonna happen. You can keep the baby. I don't need it. You guys are. Um, you guys are gonna be better parents than I'll ever be. I'm sorry for everything. I was greedy. But I guess that's over now. Just do me a favor. Take good care of her, okay? Just take care of her. I'm sorry. You'll never see me. Again.